uh, 300 six cylinder, three speed. Uh, we're gonna put a head on it today. All right, here are the parts that I've sourced for this project. Um, as you can see, I've got a, a Reman head sitting here. Uh, it's got new valves in it. New springs, retainers, new studs. It's been machined. I believe it's a spring. It's, what's wrong with, with the other head? We'll see when we get it apart. Of course, technical reference manual for torque specs, etc. Um, new rocker arm fulcrums. These go on here, and then their rocker arm is locked down with that lock nut. That's how you get your adjustment, is by torquing it to a specific torque. Uh, once you've taken the lash out of it, we'll get to that later also. Gaskets, um, valve cover gasket, new valve cover gasket, a new exhaust intake manifold gasket, and a new head gasket. Uh, we're looking at about $400 worth of parts there, which is pretty reasonable uh, considering the amount of work we're gonna have to do here uh, and uh, what we're gonna end up as the end product, uh, which is an engine that shouldn't give us any more grief for uh, 100, 150,000 miles at least, so there are the parts. All right, what we're gonna have to do to start with is dismantle, uh, dismantle the old head. We're gonna start with the valve cover, of course, and then we'll pull the uh, push rods out and uh, dismantle the intake and exhaust manifold. I may just leave the carburetor on it. Take the plugs out of it. We're gonna have to replace. We're gonna have to put the plugs in the new head. So we're gonna have to drain the water because this uh, thermostat housing has to come off. And uh, yeah, I guess we should uh, quit talking about it and start actually tearing something apart. Okay, once I get the valve cover off, the, the problem is apparent here. It's number one cylinder uh, exhaust valve. You can see the rock arm is just flopping in there. Uh, that was the cause of my miss. The rest of them are pretty tight. The rest of them are probably to specs, but this one's just flopping in there. Um, it appears as though maybe the lock nut has either backed off or the stud has pulled out from the head. Um, hopefully I didn't bend the push rod. Uh, we'll see when I dismantle it. But that's, that's the problem. I felt it break loose. It's it should be free now. Yeah, it's free. Now I'm just gonna have to wrestle it out of there. Uh, my cherry picker's on loan, so I'm gonna have to do it by hand. If 
fine, fine wrestling a head. This head probably weighs cut 80 pounds. But. Okay, so what appears to have happened here on this particular head, the one that I just took off and it was causing me grief, uh, is that uh, they've used uh, the wrong, they call them a rocker arm ball. Uh, they've used the wrong rocker arm ball on uh, this exhaust valve here. And what has happened is that it's actually stripped itself up and it's bent it ever so slightly. And I believe it's bent the valve also because the valve isn't closing properly. Uh, it didn't, it doesn't appear to have done any damage to the rocker arm itself. Um, the push rods are all straight and true. I rolled them to make sure they weren't bent. They're none of them bent. This one wasn't bent. So I th what we've got going on here is a is a bent valve stem caused by the wrong rocker arm ball because it it rode up and as it rode up it stripped that nut out and it bent it and I believe it bent the valve also. So. Okay, I've got the new head sitting up there. Everything's clean. Got my new gasket there. Just need to crawl in there and wrestle the new head on and put the new gasket and torque it down. Foot pounds is what the torque specs on this head is. Okay, we've got one, two, three. Let's set three here. Alright, we've got three. Okay, I've segmented uh, the harmonic balance into every 120 degrees. You can see there, I'm on top dead center number one there, Mark. So, I'm gonna go 120 degrees. I've already marked it. There's my next mark, and I'll put that on my timing mark. And that means that number five cylinder uh, is now on the compression stroke and ready to be ready to have rocker arms and have the valves adjusted. Uh, every 120 degrees I have a piston firing on this particular engine. It makes it easy to adjust valves and stuff. Now there's a blob with a new head. Sounds like it's running alright. The head needs to be broke in yet. But running alright. Run pretty smooth. Take it for a ride once it warms up. <laughs> 